you know your man is married and you come with a which man yeah because um no not the man that i'm dating hey you guys welcome back to a new video today's video is a story time i've been meaning to give this story for the longest longest time but i've been busy but now we have time so let's do it by the way before we continue the story time please subscribe every time i check my analytics the people who watch my videos are not even subscribed like 60 70 percent of the people who watch my channel they're not subscribed guys and i don't get why because subscribing is free liking the video is also free you know what if you're actually watching this video and you notice you've not subscribed kindly just subscribe just like the video you know and i've explained this before like those small gestures they um how am i going to explain they show youtube that the video is like getting some type of engagement and they push the video out more to other people and honestly who wouldn't want to grow this channel like it's great but it would also be great if, if it grew more you know so kindly like the video and i'll really appreciate so yeah let's get into this um sorry time. <laughs> um this is a story of how i was dating a married man without knowing uh, whoa that was crazy yo now that i've said that out loud i've just realized that that was crazy so this was back in the day when i used to work kualan's office in embu for those who don't know i'm from embu by the way and um this guy was icid so offices za embu like the land's office na za cid ziko somewhere karibu zina karibiana so that's how i happened to meet this man so i had this friend of mine um and she was like a really good friend of mine i hear i miss those days i really miss those days and um every time more wakifunga job she used to come and anikalisha and then we would go home together yeah so you get you get you get the the picture so this particular day she happened to come actually alikuja kanikalisha tukafunga kazi and then when we were heading home we noticed this tall light skinned guy that was so beautiful until this day i've never seen anyone as beautiful as that guy was yeah now that i'm thinking about it i've never met such an attractive man in this lifetime until now until today i've never so kume my friend had also like some time back had noticed the same guy but we never got to talk about it you know how you just notice someone just passing and then you're like hmm, okay he's cute whatever <laughs> and then you just continue on with your day that's what happened kume my friend had also noticed the guy like some other time which ha even me i had noticed him some other time and then now that particular day to come on to kapamoza you get so we literally went to kapamoza and came with him bro let me tell you see this this guy you know na i can say it in cute ni hot and then even is like hold up i have seen this guy i've seen this guy and the way i actually believed her is alim describe hadi gari and you see ana kwanga nayo so I was like guy come it's true he had a white actually i don't remember the time yeah but it was a big car and it was white in color and then now there's this brown guy every imagine that picture like he was just a hot man so to get home to come no to come notice and then we were like oh my god we started discussing him and how he was hot and that was that so from that day onwards every time to person on home say to question a check <laughs> like come to think of it i really don't understand why we were laughing like why were we even laughing it's crazy i can't remember the reason why we were laughing but i do remember that we used to laugh we used to laugh and it's interesting because from that day to your time to live one and we used to see him everywhere it's like the same thing as once you notice something before huko unaiona but once you notice something then you start seeing it everywhere that's the case so now from that day we used to see him everywhere tukienda tukienda home every time tunapatana naye and he used to laugh <laughs> there's this particular time we got to napita tukienda home and then tukamuona kwa club akiwa miketi and he was like una just some to light skin of course would have noticed to anywhere so when you tell him don't see to kaanza kucheka again come this particular time when you tell him cheka a little one apparently but we didn't know we didn't know that a little one so to get home to be very fulfilled 
very happy to be on a beautiful man not in a home honestly for me i never thought that that guy would ever look my way because he was a hot man i really i don't know even how to explain it like that guy was out of my league yeah and i'm saying that with a lot of confidence that guy was out of my league that's how hot he was i never thought for me that he would even consider like he would ever be attracted to me right so to can let you view every time you used to see him like check up check at you now to just got not again so that you see could you want club to him to the checker and to cannot kisha any ill could check out to like guy and other to go to the track and you could be a sequel to her a little one so to can let to you what can let you so one day me ka decide you know today because my friend always comes to like kunikalisha it was lunch break what any name salimi eh and surprise her so that's what i did ikafika lunch time nika chukua my break nikaanza sasa kutembea towards where my friend was working and guess what happened guess what happened i remember that meet up until today so while i was working minding my business you know i'm just thinking i don't even know what i was thinking about random stuff to kapatana na we see to kapatana na we tali and akanismamisha akanismamisha yani to till this day i mean you see like ali ni smamisha you know like me <laughs> crazy so akanismamisha kanambe hi how are you my name is so and so what's your name so nikawambia of course my name is stacy sayo nimedundwa Jasho inamwagika usha idundu aya ni hadi uko like bro i can't breathe <laughs> i can't breathe like i was so confused like i don't understand why is why are we talking right now why are we talking why are we talking like i don't i didn't understand so i can be by the so after like the introduction he said that he had noticed that we are always laughing at him me and my friend Actually that's why ni limwamina niambia you and your other friend my friend was also light my friend was alikuwa light skin by the way so he told me you and your light skin friend actually why did he describe her like that you and your light skin friend why are you always laughing at me mkimiona what <laughs> what like i never thought that a little one to kim check up oh my god so of course i denied it i said hey apana no 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 it's not you that from my chica mata you never see me you know you you must play cool okay so ni kaambia mimi hata we've never even seen him and it's not him that we've been laughing at of course it's him <laughs> and i really don't know why um so yeah i i really tried to convince him so and then he goes ahead and says me your number you need to talk further about the history i need to understand why you guys have been laughing at me bro ask for my number say so on my mind me me changanikiwa niko confused like i'm like yo 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 i'm dreaming i'm dreaming someone just pinched me because this guy literally just asked for my number it doesn't matter the reason but he has asked for my number leave alone that i mean is mommy like you know i mean is like excuse me like excuse me i mean he wanted to talk to me me <laughs> hey wonders shall never end let me tell you so i had to change number because how yeah because how number yangu <laughs> you know these are the type of things that you usually think ah these ones only happen in movies like utnezaje sao number yako surely as you i forgot my number so nikamwambia um i have a new phone and they changed my number recently just give me your number and take a call yes iko nililala na viatu yeah nililala na viatu cuz i was so happy i was so geek yani being in love is a beautiful thing being in love is a wonderful thing so akanipea namba yake mimi nimesahau yangu nimesahau namba yangu so akanipea namba yake and i could not wait kufika kwa bestie yangu nimwambie that nimeongeleshwa na our crush ameniongeleshwa so when i told my friend she did not believe it until we called that number tukatumia true call and ikatokea hiyo jina and then there was a picture of him so she believed imagine that's how hot that guy was cuz even my friend could not believe that that guy was actually interested <laughs> and I'm, i did, i was not even offended honestly you know i was not offended cuz she thought that cuz it's true it's really true so after we called 
uh Jine Katoki and then she believed Aki she couldn't believe it. Eh, eh, eh. That was all we could talk about. That was all we could talk about. Hadi yesi kuna kumbuka ni kitilo kurudi kazi cause yo 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 yo. The man was the man was beautiful. The man was beautiful. So anyway, that is out of the way. Um, after Milim call, of course Milim call. Da, we continued talking. We used to go for dates. Oh my God, the dates were amazing. We used to have a blast. Hey, any being in love. Being in love is crazy. So to go to another date, I think used to have such a good time. Not as yet, like any anywhere expensive. Like just even lunch. Like even lunch. And he has just called. I remember I used to even see a text, a good night text. And he used to sleep so peacefully and happy. In my mind, this guy, we had three kids and I was married. Yeah, by him. That's how crazy I was. Like if this man decided to ask for my hand in marriage, I would, I would not have hesitated. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness. So, to can I go to cadet now my man's? Come to think of it, he actually never asked me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> I guess nearly just here because we were going on dates and I was always around, you know. So yeah, and I remember there was this one time nearly noticed that the guy had a ring on his finger, a ring. And of course, I asked about it. Guess what he told me? He told me that he had noticed that a lot of women were throwing themselves at him, so to just keep the the women away. He wore a ring so that Sasa Kilamto of Kiria is married. And he used to think, bro, that is so smart. That that is actually so smart. And he used to feel so special because I did not throw myself at him. He actually came to talk to me. <laughs> so special. I was just special. What? Imagine. Like, how do you even see someone with a ring? Na na kudanganya no ninja box no nani. Like and I never thought it was a lie. Unaza mtu anaweza kudanganya kitu ufikirie ni uongo. No, I actually believed your story. Your ring. Man, now we dated for a long time, you guys. Do you know we dated for a long time? And it was married. Anyway. So now the dates were awesome. We started going for trips. Ah, trips. <laughs> Of course, if you're like dating, oh my god, I hope we were dating. I hope we were dating because according to me, we were dating. So, he had such a beautiful house. And then, oh, in my mind, I think I had one. So, we continued like that. Um, and then one time, so because, because of course, we are dating, right? <laughs> according to me, that is, we are dating. Actually, you know, I've just remembered that he used to come for me after work. Na na ni drop home. Such a nice man, such a nice guy. Until I realized that he was married. So this is how it happened. So like I've mentioned that before, na ni kudia, ana pack gari aponje, and then like na ningoje, of course, ni kitoka na ni fikisha. So because you you used to do that a lot, of course, a lot of people started noticing. Now everybody around that area knew that we were dating with this guy like they knew we were together so of course because of that and but then, you know what every time to get out like people used to look at us you know that you can notice when people are staring and i used to know that it's because the man is hot and i know you guys are just envious which is fine i know if if i saw you <laughs> with him i would also be envious so please <laughs> so that's what i used to think Kumbe, they were just looking at us because he was married. Now that I'm thinking about it, back then I used to think it's because they are envious because I had this hot man with me. So yeah. <laughs> so this one time, so because now he used to park his car up, kila mtu alikuwa na jua around that we are dating with this hot hot guy, and he was the only hot guy around. So kila mtu alikuwa na jua. Hey, so. One of my colleagues, Skumoza Kakuza Kanyangia, do you know? Do you know your guy is married? I don't know which guy are you talking about because, yeah, it's not my man. Mm -mm. You must have seen the ring and you assumed he was married, but he is not. 
and then my colleague tried to convince me and i'm like bro no he's not married actually do you know what i've just remember there's a time i had a pregnancy scare and he went and bought a pregnancy test and i thought that was the most beautiful thing a man could ever do you know honestly men know men are selfish and it would take a lot for a man to go to a chemist and buy a pregnancy test a could get you test like mtu atakwambia tu when you buy and come and test to me the results that at least that's what i know men are like <laughs> so now this man was willing to go to the chemist and buy a pregnancy test for me i really thought he liked me i really thought that he liked me who men now that i'm looking back he was just as scared as i was because he didn't want me to get pregnant and add and have a fourth kid on top of the three that he had so oh colleague wangu akakuza kani me do you know your man is married and you come with which one yeah cuz um no not the man that i'm dating no 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 see we are you come married in fact if it's the ring you're talking about yeah that one is to keep the women away from him yeah <laughs> that's what i tried to convince her i think she showed me receipts your time maze your time ni later in your facebook facebook clip imeshika akanionyesha picha ya my guy akiwa na another woman with three children yeah mhm but there his gallery was full of those pictures like on facebook that is aki hapo ndo ni ya my man was married ha <sighs> wanaume but bido wanaume like how can you know that genuinely unajua deep down that you have someone but you're also like stringing somebody else along no mwambi and i know he knew that i was madly in love with this guy and i don't know like what was he planning to do like according to him alikuwa na plan kuniambia lini like tell me sasa i'm madly in love na tumeendelea hivyo tumeendelea hivyo na singe why find out like what was he what was his plan like i really would like to know because of course he did I, i don't think he wanted to marry me as a second wife he yeah. fear men by the way fear men fear men cuz and i'm telling you we dated for a long time for a long time, almost one year without me knowing that he was married every time alikuwa ananiambia ameenda home alikuwa ananiambia ameenda kuona like his family and now that i'm thinking about it since, since alikuwa CID i think he was posted in embu So of course it come on my post you aimbu like you have a house there and una issue go that's what made me think that <sighs> anyway so of course i confronted him na i'm actually happy that he decided to say that it was true <laughs> he did not deny and he, yeah he just agreed that he also just fell in love he was not you know he was not planning for it to go the way it went he was not planning for us to date for such a long time niko like bro kwa hivyo ulikuwa na plan hit and run ulikuwa na plan hit and run ama what was going on so imagine and after he even told me that he was married i was also still considering still like continuing it with him cuz niko nafikiria venye i'm going to leave this hot beautiful man for who no 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 ways ha <sighs> Anyway after Bede confronted him after I confronted him and I found out that he was married I started distancing myself because at the end of the day you know a married man will never leave his wife and kids let's be honest even if they are going through shit or even if they are going through something it's very hard for a man to leave his wife only because men love stability like once you give a man that stability you're going to home to go back to food hot food to go back to someone who will do the house chores for him there's no way he's going to leave that he's not going to risk and leave that you know at least that's what i think so i don't know why at that time i thought that maybe there was a possibility there was a world in which he would leave his wife but luckily for him akakuwa transferred and I think that's what really helped me to move on. So after I got transferred the communication it kind of push of course out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. So when I landed somewhere else, uh we stopped talking and yeah, that's how the relationship ended. And do you know I stalked that man until this day. I'm ashamed. 
of myself. I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself because I don't know. I just want to see him and see what he has been up to. But yeah, that is crazy. But yeah. So yeah guys, that's how I dated a married man without knowing and I'm ashamed of it. But in my defense, I did not know that he was married. Okay? I did not know that he was married. Well, yeah, we've come to the end of the story time. I really had a blast giving out this story. Maybe it's because I remember it like so well and I remember the feeling that the feelings that were there at that time and it's just so exciting at least for me <laughs> oh my god i have stories for days you guys i have stories for days i hope you enjoyed this one and yeah please remember to like and subscribe and yeah just watch one ad actually you know what is that too much to ask please just watch one ad just one please thank you <laughs> So yeah, I guess I'll see you on my next video.